Hello, my name is Alexis Horder, and today I'll be talking about my agent-based model of tuberculosis infection to determine the impact of the host immune status on granuloma dynamics. So far, we found that latently infected individuals, or LTBI for short, control TB infection through early activation and proliferation of TB-specific CD4 plus T cells. Here we can see that the LTBI-like individuals um, have a higher percentage of TB-specific CD4 plus T cells that are activated compared to those who have never been exposed to TB before or uh, naive individuals. This corresponds with a higher percentage of infected macrophages that are activated in the LTBI-like group compared to the naive-like simulations, and this carries on throughout the entire course of infection. This results in more bacteria being killed in the LTBI-like simulations by day eight, despite the total number of infected macrophages actually being lower in the LTBI-like simulations. We did this by developing an agent-based model where we simulate virtual macrophages CD4 plus T cells and bacteria. Our simulation is shown here in a snapshot where we watch granulomas form over space and time. Our simulations are one small um, portion of a well where the granulomas are being formed in the in vitro system. This diagram just shows some of our relevant mechanisms that have come from biological phenomena and literature. And then we calibrate our model to the in vitro experimental data. Granulomas remain challenging to study in vivo. Thus, we hope that this ABM will help us to gain new insight into granuloma dynamics that haven't been reached yet. This is a highly iterative process between the um, in vitro experimental setup and our virtual simulation of the in vitro setup where we can generate new hypotheses and help to strategize which mechanisms um, the in vitro system should investigate next. In this way, we help to translate the in vitro discoveries to host level impacts and hope to accelerate discovery of new treatment targets.